Good morning friends, welcome to our channel Literacy World and this is my first video about Merchant of Venice and in this scene I will let you introduce about the scene Act 1, Scene 1 So, in this scene we'll came, come to know about Antonio who is a melancholic character according to the play There are, in this scene there are two more characters whose names are Celarino and Selenio. Actually these are jovial characters. Due to the, according to this scene, they have been taken as the jovial characters who make Antonio feel that why he is sad. So in this scene we will come to know about why Antonio is sad and what is the reason of being him sad. So, so, as you can see the first line, in sooth, I know not why I am so sad. It wears me, you say, it wears you. But how I caught it, found it, or came by it? What stuffs this made of whereof it is born? I am to learn, and such a want with sadness makes of me, that I much adore to know myself. This means that truly I do not know why I feel so sad. The feeling makes me depressed and you say that it makes you depressed too. Where I had the feeling from, found it or got it and what it consists of and how it originated. I have yet to know the depression makes me such a dull fellow that I fail to know who I am. So in this line Antonio is quite sad means when Celerino asks him asks him why you are so sad so Antonio replies by saying these lines that he actually doesn't know why he is so sad so now the second line as we can see here like signers yes Celerino your mind is tossing on the ocean which means your mind is at the sea because uh, and as we all know that in the merchant of Venice that Antonio is a merchant and his merchandise are on the sea to on his way so uh, it's probably um, it's it's comparatively uh, uh, everybody can tell that uh, if he's a merchant then he would be having worried and uh, tensions about his ships which are on the way to ocean means to his land which means venice so in next night next line we'll say your mind is tossing on the ocean which means your mind is at the sea now second line there were your argues with poetry sail so my friends argues means big ships and uh, argues see here you can see big commercial ships originally argony is a Ship of Ragus, Ragusa, a port on the Adriatic near Venice, as we see here. So the third line, like signals and rich burgers on the floor, on the flood sea. Yes. So this means that there your ships filled with cargo move on the wave like great lords and wealthy citizens. First I read the paragraph, then I will uh, explain you more clearly or as it were the pigeons of the sea do overpeer the petty traffickers that cursed to them to them reverence as they fly by them with their woven wings okay here's selling your speech so what we understand this line so here your mind is at the sea there your ships filled with cargo move on the waves like great lords and wealthy citizens. The large ships pass in a magnificent procession and rule over the smaller ships. The small ships how big before the bigger ships as they speed past them with their canvas sails, they appear as wings. So in this in this paragraph, Celerino wants to say Antonio that why he is so sad so he the, the only expresses one of his reasons why he could be so sad and uh, why he was in that 
and why he was in that feeling means the mood at that time so next the speech come of selenio so in selenio what we come to know that believe me sir i sir had i such venture forth the better part of my affections would be with my hopes abroad i should be still plucking the grass to know where sits the mine peering in maps for ports and piers and roads and every object that might make me fear misfortune to my ventures out of doubt would make me sad so in this line we'll hear a new word which means plucking the grass and uh, peering in maps so plucking plucking the grass till wind plucking the grass to know where the sits the mine means holding up a blade of grass to, to see in which direction the wind is blowing so here we come to know in this paragraph believe me sir if i had such financial ventures in danger the greater part of my thoughts would be fixed on my hopes abroad i would then be plucking the grass and throwing it up to see in which direction the wind is blowing i would also study the maps harbors and channels and consider everything that might pose danger to my business this certainly would make me sad so guys in this video it's up to here and for more after salerino speeches and uh, for after the scene epiphany also comes so for more speech uh, for more video you have to sub my channel so you can be able to get my newly videos which i uploaded which i upload so please sub my channel literacy world and the next part i will continue in my another video means to say next in my next video as i told you before also that this was my first video on act 1 scene 1 so thank you